Hi everyone! I'm here for another unboxing video and this time it's going to be weird. I'm hoping you can hear me better this time. I actually have a mic on, I think. Or I did. Here we go. Here it is. And um, my camera is turned the opposite way so things will look correct, if that makes sense. I cannot figure out what's going on with my phone. So I can barely see anything, but I have a mirror here. And I know I'm in the frame because I can see it in a mirror behind me. It's so weird. I don't know what's up with my camera. But today we're going to do another unboxing, another bell tress. And this time, hopefully the label is correct and not upside down. This is a bell tress Sumatra in the color. I believe it's Honeywood Chai Latte. And of course, I don't have the tag right here. I'm, I'm pretty positive it's Honeywood Chai Latte. I got it on, a, I think it was a, the clearance sale from Beauty Nook. If this is in the Beauty Nook group, you know all about Beauty Nook. If it's on my YouTube, then please visit the links below to find the Facebook group and um, also their website. So, let's see what this one's about. And I have her on my mannequin back here, so we will bring her forward. And so this is Sumatra by Beltress. And if anyone wonders, I'm wearing, again, of course, my John Renault Zara in Palm Springs Blonde. I wear it every day to work. This is what she looks like. Um, so, let's try on Sumatra. And let me get this. This wig cap's kind of falling off. I've had it on most of the morning. I'm actually on my lunch break right now. Okay. And um, hopefully you guys can hear me. Hopefully this microphone helps. So, here is Sumatra straight out of the box. Uh, oh, I left the tag on her. <laughs> That's why I couldn't find it. Yeah, here is the tag for her. It is Sumatra. It's heat friendly. This is Honey with Chai Latte. And again, don't take your tag off if you think you're going to return your wig. If it's not the right color for you or, um, you know, just you don't, maybe the color's wrong or something else. Don't take the tag off. If the, the part comes zigzag, don't screw up the zigzag part if you're going to return it. And this is Honey with Chai Latte. And this is the what the rooting looks like on that color. This wig is a mono top. So you can part her anywhere you want. It's lace front. There's adjustable, um, adjustable tabs back here. And velvet line ear tabs. And so this is what she looks like. She's got a lot of really pretty waves to her. Let's see what she looks like on. Now, Beltress runs a little bit big for me, so I usually have to tighten up the adjustable straps a little bit. So, here we go. And I have a mirror in front of me here. So she's very curly. Um, I'm not used to... Well, let me straighten up the ear tabs here. The ear tabs on Beltress always sit, um, um, actually the ear tabs, uh, you know, they, they give you great coverage. Um, most wigs don't even cover this much for me. Um, so they come to like here, they cover like this whole hairline right here. And so this is what she looks like pretty much right out of the box. Lots of curves. I love this, uh, this curl what's going on right here it's very like old school like wavy hair like a movie star from the 1950s or something it's very and then you can uh, run your fingers through her here and again you can part this anywhere you want um, I will definitely have to steam this one out of my face and I will probably pluck this part a little bit so it's not so it doesn't look like it's very like this this dark this root seems darker on this one than on the the bombshell it's like not as mixed in um so let's see if i moved her this way so you can part her any way you want now i kind of like her better the other way and of course you could have a middle part if you even wanted to straight down the middle kind of i'm not much of a middle part gal Lots of curves, lots of body. This also reminds me of kind of like a 1970s, you know, look. Like a Stevie Nicks type. Not even Stevie Nicks, but I don't even know. I don't know what I'm talking about. 
you know, like a 1970s singer. Lots of curls, lots of curls in this one. Now, which way did I have her that I liked? Yeah, this way seems better to me. And the hair on this is very fine fibers. They feel very realistic. Again, it, it is heat friendly. But I will definitely, I think I would definitely pluck some hairs out of the front here. Um, for sure. And let's just throw a little bit of, you know, me and my dry shampoo. Let me just run a comb through it. Just a little wee bit here. Getting a little flyaway action going on. Out of the box, it's not bad. Like, straight from the box. I, I would probably give a little bit of more lift right here. And again, I would probably pluck this a, just a little bit so that... Uh, I wish I had a... If I had a tweezer. Actually, I do have tweezers right here. But if you just go in and pick a couple of hairs, like, and just pull real fast, you'll break up this line right here. And actually, you can kind of see already, if you just pull a couple of hairs out at a time, just do that along the parting there. Then you'll kind of open it up a little bit more. Looks a little bit more realistic, especially if it's kind of dark right along the hairline. Um, one other thing I like to do too is I'll take this Aesthetica Shape and Hold, or I think I have the, yeah, here's the Revitalize and Shine. And so if you want to really bring these curls back to life, you just kind of spray and just kind of run your fingers, you know, just kind of scrunch it with your fingers. And see how that really brought back those curls. And like I'll do it over here too. You'll see. Just spray it on and then kind of scrunch it with your fingers. And see how the curls just come right, right back to life like that. This is really cute. I'll try and show you the back of her. Um, see, I didn't have to do much to this one at all. So here's the, the back. Hopefully you can see it. Sorry, my chair's squeaking. But really, the only thing I probably... And I'm getting, like, even really good now. See, she's a little bit big on my head. So I probably have to play with the adjusters a little bit more. Because when I go to move hair around, she kind of comes off a little bit. Off my head. So it's probably... Like, Beltrass caps run a little bit big on me. Because my head is smaller than... You know, it's like a... My circumference is 21.75, um... So it is, but I would take, let me grab my hair dryer, and I hope this isn't too loud because I know I'm, I've got a mic on, but I would probably just take this and, this is on low, and just hold the hair back and off of your face, just like that. Kind of that helps a little bit to get the hair off your you know train it to go away from your face but a lot of these curls kind of turn in towards the face um, which is really nice like I, I think the curl pattern in this is really really pretty and she's heat friendly so you can put add more curl to her you can straighten her I wouldn't straighten this way just because the curl is great on it so what do you guys think of this I probably need to wear a lipstick. Like, I should have lipstick on because I just look weird with no lipstick on. Like, you add a little bit of lip, lip color, and that just makes your face so much better. So much better. And I don't know what I use today on my face, but I'm shiny. But, oh, if you guys have never heard of this before, this is the Tati Beauty. It's like a beauty blender. I use it to put my foundation on, and then I can just do this and get rid of my shine. This is literally one the best 20 bucks I've ever spent. If you if if you've never heard of it, check it out. It's like Tati Beauty Beauty Blender type thing. Great great thing to have if you like beauty blenders. But very pretty wig. Very pretty. I didn't have to do much to this one. Like I feel like this is I feel like it looks great. Now if I kind of want to keep this even out of my head too, I out of my face, I can use the shape and hold 
um, Aesthetica and Beauty Nook sells this too and I just spray right there and then kind of hold it and dry you know let it dry a little bit and that's it and there's the hairline it's quite nice I mean you know I like I said I probably will pluck this a little bit more you know just to give it a little more because sometimes I notice on like a darker rooted wig you'll have it almost looks like a <laughs> like a cap right there but you can pull while you have this on just pull that back and take your tweezers and just start tweezing along this hairline and some of these hairs will pull out and you can pull them out and it makes it like a little bit more open up right along here Be that way you don't have that really stark hairline going on and this is easier when you're when it's like on a mannequin you probably shouldn't do it while it's like on your head and then you have to pull, kind of pull the hairs out with a comb so see a few hairs come out of there but it'll break up this dark part a little bit that kind of helps sometimes but yeah very beautiful wig i'm re i really like this one this would be great with a really cute uh, like turtleneck or scarf here. I love these. And this color is great for fall. It's like a very honey. It's definitely a warm toned wig. Looks like a Hollywood movie star, doesn't it? Definitely I'll need to work with keeping the hair out of my face. Again, you just work with your hair dryer and keep hold, like holding this back and out of the way. And that's how you do that. And this come with a lot of great body up at the top here. You know, it comes with a lot of great body. So I would probably just maybe spray some of my shape and hold right there. It's very pretty. Very pretty. And if you're interested in a, this wig or a wig like this, get a hold of Beauty Nook. You can get a great price for it. And of course, if you're in the group, you know you're getting great prices. So I don't have to mention, but in case someone's on my YouTube and happens to see this, not a lot of shedding in her at all. But, um, you know, a really good medical grade type of wig, you don't get a lot of shedding. It's just, they're really nice. So I would also get, I think I might get this in a lighter blonde because I really like the curl pattern. I think it's very flattering. It's a flattering curl pattern. Very flattering. So that's kind of just how I style my wigs. And like I said, this one didn't take much. It didn't take much out, straight out of the box. And there's a little bit of flyaways, but again, you can always tame that down with some shape and hold. Get that get those flyaways over there but I, again I don't mind the flyaways too much but yeah it sits about right here on me and I'm about 5'4 so but yeah very pretty very pretty style but hope you enjoyed my unboxing and try on and hopefully you guys can hear me this time and hopefully my video turned out okay I hope you are all having a great day we'll talk to you soon